Hey guys, welcome. I have my AT Mega 328P programmed and working. So I'm going to kill the lights and you can see those LEDs are blinking. And those LEDs are blinking because of a program that I uploaded onto the chip. And I used the AVR Pocket Programmer here. Um, we'll take a better look at that in the future. Connects through Universal Serial Bus and serial peripheral interface and basically I plug into the power and ground pins here which are the red and blue I'll explain the circuitry in a moment then we have a master um, master in slave out pin a master out slave in pin and an SK an SCK pin and those are let's see SCK is 19 so it's can be here and then we have the next pin which is going to be master in slave out and then we have master out slave in here on this pin and that allows us to upload uh, a C++ language basically to the chip and allows us to do different things Okay, so this is powered with a 9-volt battery now. Um, here we can see I have a 5-volt voltage regulator, and then I have a 10 microfarad electrolytic decoupling capacitor, and then underneath that I have a... I'm sorry, that's... yeah, microfarad. 10 microfarad, I believe, electrolytic capacitor. And then under that, you might be able to see that little orange dot there. That's a 22 picrofarad uh, ceramic capacitor and this just smooths out the 9 volts into a steady 5 volt current to power the rail and you can see this red jumper here running to the red rail along the bottom and then the white is the ground. Okay so our input is on the left side of this voltage regulator and our output of our 5 volts comes out of the right side and in the center of the voltage regulator is a ground okay so you can see my grounds on the center pin and my red my 5 volts coming out is on the rightmost pin which is powering these bottom rails here okay and then what I'm doing is on this side of the chip um, this pin here is our PCC or our 5 volts to power the chip and then the white is the ground okay and then I have a 16 megahertz crystal here to try to smooth out the timing I'm still working at this uh, a little bit and I'm tweaking on that a little bit okay so then inside of our chip um, these two he things here are 330 ohm resistors running to the LED and then I have the LED grounded same here, 330 ohm resistor running to the LED, and then I have the LED grounded. Now, both of these rails, sides of these rails are power and ground, because here, if you can see these cables here, these connect this rail to the other rail. Okay, so that is the circuitry. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me zoom, try to zoom in a little bit for you to get a look at that might not be the best but hey okay and then here on the computer screen is the program I used to transfer the program I wrote onto the chip and it's called AVR dude and as we can see there in the top line I say AVR dude P M 328P C USB tiny and then dash capital U flash write and then the path to the hex file Okay, that's the command to upload the program onto the chip. And there you can see it verifies and it writes and so forth. Okay, and I wrote the program in a program based on Visual Studio. And it's just um, AVR Studio 6, something to that effect. And we'll look at this code next. And I'll explain to you what the code does. And real quick, just before we go into screen mode, let me show you 
the AVR pocket programmer here. Let me just lay this down. Okay, so here it is. This is in between our universal serial, serial bus connection from the computer to the chip. And here's my little configuration. Um, these plug into the pin that I just described on the chip, the SCK, the master in slave out and the master out slave in to um, get the instructions onto the chip. Okay, so that's how that works and hope to do some different tutorials with this in the future with better view settings. So thanks for watching. Let's look at the code now. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching.